Good morning. We're going to get started with our math lesson today. Instead of counting to 100 to begin with, I went ahead and posted that link in Schoology. So all you have to do is click on the, the link every day to listen to the Count to 100 song. And um, we're going to go ahead and start with number talks today. So um, look at this card, and I want you to yell out what number that is. you said seven you are correct and I want you to tell somebody at your house how you knew that was seven okay and we'll find another one why you do that all right what's this one okay, if you said six you are correct okay that's six that looks like on a dot up on a dice right Okay, so tell your family how you knew that was six, how you saw that. Okay. How about this one? If you said five, you're correct. And once again, that's what it looks like when we play with those dice. It looks like that on the dice. Okay, so tell your family how you saw that and how you knew that was five. Okay, let's do one more. Do this one. All right. Okay, if you said six, you're correct. Okay, so tell your family how you knew that was six. If you counted each dot, if you just knew, if you moved some of the dots in your mind. Okay. All right, and today we're gonna work on this page. So this you'll need to find this page in your packet. You're also gonna need two different colors of crayons, okay? Maybe a black crayon and a red crayon would be good, or a blue and a red. Um, I wouldn't use yellow and I wouldn't use orange, okay? So we're gonna talk about groups of eight and nine. Remember we talked about those two numbers yesterday? And maybe I need to move this a little closer so you can see the paper better. All right, um, so let's look at, get one of your colors and it oh, moves my paper. There it is. Let's hope it stays there. Okay. Oh, too much. Okay. You should have had time to get your crayons. So here we go. We're going to start with one color first, and I'm going to use black first. And we're going to look for groups of eight. Now it can be. Um, different things in the group that are different colors. So let's look at the kids first that are in line. Okay, how many children are wearing orange raincoats? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six of them are wearing orange raincoats. How many are wearing blue raincoats? One, two, three. So that's six, seven, eight, nine. So that's a group of nine. So let's go ahead and circle that group of nine with black. Okay. All right. Now let's look at something else. So look at that picture. I am seeing some leaves on the ground. So let's see how many leaves there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's only seven leaves, so we can't circle those because we're looking for groups of eight or nine. Do you see any more leaves? Okay, no? Okay, let's look at the windows. Let's see how many windows there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Okay, I see nine windows. So let's circle the windows with the black because that's what we use to circle um, the other group of nine. Okay, let's look at the dog. What do you notice on the dog? Let's count his spots, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He has eight spots, so let's change our crayon. I'm gonna use my red crayon, and I'm gonna circle his spots, because he has eight spots, okay? Now, I don't know if I see anything else that we can really count for eight and nine. Okay, if you find something else, I want you to share that with me when we meet with our on our team's meeting, okay? So if you see something else that I'm missing, I want you to tell me when we meet together, when we have our team's meeting, okay? So we're gonna um, be done with the math page for right now, and we're gonna move on to some problem solving, okay? So we'll finish the back side of that paper tomorrow. So save that paper, the back side for tomorrow. Okay, so let's work on some word problems. So this says four children wear blue boots. So put up four fingers. Five children wear boots that are other colors. Okay, so you have four children wearing blue boots, five children wearing boots that are other colors. How many children wear boots? Okay, so you wanna count those. And I'm gonna hold my fingers right there. So maybe you can count them on the screen if you don't wanna hold yours up. So how many children are wearing boots? If you said nine, you're correct. Okay, here's an easy way you could do that. You say the big number first, say five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? That's a quick way to count those. Okay, so nine children are wearing boots. Okay, let's do the next problem. Okay. There are seven leaves on the ground. Two more leaves fall to the ground. How many leaves are on the ground now? And if you look at this, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Okay. What do you notice is the same as the last problem? My hands just switched, right? So say five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five and four is nine. Okay, so there's nine leaves on the ground. So let's do one more. And this one's the one that always, they always want you to think about this one, okay? There are nine windows on a bus. Some windows are open and some of them are closed. How many windows can be open and how many can be closed? Okay, so they're asking you that. So I want you to think for a second. If you have a nine, how many of them could be open and how many of them could be closed? Okay, and we'll do a couple together and then I want you to try to do a couple of them on your own and see if they move again. So, if I had five that were open and four were closed, that would be nine, right? Four plus nine, five plus four equals nine, okay? I could also do, what if I did, here's my nine, okay? What if I said three were open, how many are closed? four, five, six. So three plus six equals nine. Okay, there's lots of different ways to make nine, okay? So let's think of what if two of them were open? Okay, I have nine again. What if two of them were open? How many are closed? Five, six, seven. So two plus seven equals nine. Okay, what if I have nine and only one of them is open? How many are closed? Eight, five, six, seven, eight. So one and eight equals nine. Okay, so 
so there's lots and lots of different ways to make nine. And I want you to see if you can think of another way to make nine, okay? And we'll talk about that later. And you can share with me at the team's meeting, okay? So um, I will see you back, some of you back here in just a little bit. And the rest of you I will see tomorrow. So I hope you have a good rest of your day.